Tina, a warthog princess, and pardon the fancy outfit. I've just been out running around with the dogs in the wind, and um, now it's going to rain, so <laughs> glad we made it back in time. But I got beer meal today, and I did not want to wait until I shower and change or whatever, so here we are. It's casual. We're all staying home anyway, so who cares? All right. This Vera Bradley Hall has stuff from Paper Store because they were having a sale and it also has stuff from the online outlet sale. It was the completion of my online outlet sale orders, except that right before I sat down, I made another order for two more items from the online outlet. It is still going, not for much longer, but you can check it out if you're interested. So let's start with the paper store items. They were having a sale. They had some older items that were discounted already and some newer items that were discounted. And if you bought their little Easter bucket, it was, like $4.99, but then you got 20% off in addition to their sale. So it was a pretty good deal, so I took advantage. And I got this cute little Easter bucket. It says tie-dye Easter bucket from the paper store. $4.99, Legacy and Main collection. Anyway, I like it. It's got purples, hello, purples and mint and teal and pink. And anyways, it's fun. It's not necessarily scream Easter, which is what I liked about it. There were a couple other designs. One was a unicorn and I think some other. Anyway, but I thought this was a good one. I don't think it's going to make it to my nieces and nephews, but I think I can use it for a lot of things. My first thought when I was looking at getting it was this would be a great little crocheting project bucket and I could just carry it around the house. I could use it as a shower caddy in the trailer when I go in the RV to go to the shower house or something. Or it could be the dog travel toy bucket. I don't know, but I think lots of things. And since I only have one and I have a lot of nieces and nephews, it's, it's not really going to work out that way. All right. So the two items I got from the paper store were the note cube with pen in Regal Rosette. And here's what it looks like. It's just a cardboard box, but it's nicely decorated and it's pretty robust and it has paper in it. The paper does have this small pen here and has this hole so you can use it as like a pen holder. I brought out my, my current one that it's actually much older, but I didn't use it for a long time and now I'm just trickling through it, but there's a lot of paper in here. So let me show you the differences. This one is in lilac tapestry, but you can see this one had like the box formed little legs and it stands very nicely, very robust, very sturdy box, not a problem. And this one's just flat. I don't have any druthers either way, but I imagine they probably went to this one because it was easier to manufacture. Um, yeah, whatever. So there you go. The hole on the older one is bigger and this one is smaller. So that's okay, but I think I like this one better because I take a regular size Vera pen and I, I use that because at those little ones, it's not so like everyday writing. So I like this on my desk right now. And I changed the pen. Right now it's a little flower swirl. I change it up. It doesn't have to match. I don't care. Sometimes I do. But <laughs> anyways. But they have this little, they have their little design on the corner of the page on both. This one's smaller. But anyway. So that's the note cube with pen. And then the other item I got from the paper store is a paper store exclusive pattern. But not a paper store exclusive style. So... This is Reactive Cooler Backpack in Beach Toil. So obviously you've got the recycled bottle thing. You can carry this like a tote or duffel like that, or you can carry it like a backpack, which is a really nice option. It has slip pockets on both sides, plenty big enough for a water bottle. And on this side, it also has a zip pocket um, in addition. And it's pretty, pretty roomy, so you could put your keys in there, a little something, maybe a zip ID or just, just what you need. And then on the back, it says hidden pocket. It's not totally hidden, but it's not totally obvious. It's a nylon style zipper, and it's a pretty big pocket. It is basically the width of the zipper and all the way across the bag, so pretty big all the way across. A lot of, lot of good things you can use that for. And then on the front, it has this other pocket. It does have chunky zipper, which is fine, actually. It's great on this type of an item, since you don't need it to be all sophisticated and stuff. And it's a very smooth zipper. I like that. 
you open it up, you've got two slips. You've got a small slip right here, it only goes that much, and then the rest of it's one big slip, and then the pocket. Pretty big pocket, actually. It's got a good inch or so deep. Yeah. So that's nice. That it's actually usable. It's not like flat, sucked up against it. And then the main pocket, it is a framed top, so it does have that rigid frame that goes around, and then it can open up like a big mouth, large mouth bass, you know, open up. And the bag itself is just a big rectangle once you get it opened up. So that's cool. And as far as folding, because we keep talking about folding tidbits, this is the kind of bag I would fold how it came. So obviously you close the top and then the bottom flattens out. The sides you can either push in like that, which is what I would do. So it's kind of just tucked all the way around and it will store relatively flat. Relatively, because this is all very padded for the insulation in the cooler. But the other thing about this is, and I, I read this a moment ago, it actually can turn inside out for cleaning the lining. And that's really cool. I don't like ditty bags that aren't sewn in on the bottom, but on this item, it makes sense to be able to pull it out like that and wash it and let it dry and then tuck it back in. So that's very cool. But that is Reactive Cooler Backpack. All right, next items. The rest of this is all from the online outlet sale. Yeah, not quite done with that yet. Okay, so the first item, this is a new item for me, the Carry All RFID Slim Card Case. And this is leather, it's mold wine. It's a beautiful quality leather piece. It's RFID, which is nice. It's got two card slots on this side and two card slots on this side, one here and one here, and then it has a big space in the middle. The middle, just like the mold wine tote I bought the other day, it has the medallion pattern, but it's in the mold wine colors. And then look how cute the front of this is with the fox from Foxwood. It's got like stamped painted leather and then some of it's embroidered like right there and right there. So it's really a nice little piece. I have not tried these yet. I did buy one that was non-Vera as part of a set um, a few videos back that came from the base exchange and it was a really good deal and I wanted to try it and it was like a midtown material and then there's this one so I just thought this would be a lovely addition for the tote. I don't have a lot in mold wine but that would go with just about anything. Then I got the mini kiss lock and this is in stitched flowers. I actually have just one of these little pieces but it's like one of my most favorite pieces of all time. The one I have is in bramble and this one is my second. Um, but they're just perfect little coin purses. They can hold earbuds or something else. They're just small. They're, they're great for a lot of little things. And they're easy to find. Like blind in your bag, you can find your coin purse right away. So that's fun. I wanted a different pattern, but that was the only one that was available because they sold out so fast. They did have Bordeaux blooms, but it, it disappeared. Okay, this is the Kiss Me Twice. Yeah, iconic Kiss Me Twice in Raspberry Medallion. It is cotton. It's not quilted. Um, but it is, it is lined, so you've got the, uh, like raspberry foulard in there. And it has a little mirror, and has a magnetic closure in the middle, so it's nice. And it's, it's not rigid at all, I mean, you could squash it up, but it does hold its form a little bit. I thought this was going to be a little bit smaller, and I'm actually excited that it's bigger. Uh, so I'm getting a lot of that lately, surprised by sizes. But that's what happens when you try new things. You really don't know, and I don't have a store to go check things out. So it's it's an adventure, and I'm I'm enjoying it. But I thought that this would hold like two lipsticks and just barely, you know, like a little lipstick thing. This is much bigger, so you could hold probably if you laid two side by side and end to end, you probably could get eight lipsticks in here. I don't know. I think you could. Um, so that's a lot, and I don't even wear lipstick, so I'm gonna use this for something else. I thought this would be a perfect little, um, like my first aid things, or uh, I don't know, snacky things in the purse, or your gum, mints, or I don't know. I'm gonna find out though. Lots of ideas. I don't have anything else in Raspberry Medallion though, so that's just gonna have to be one of those mixy matchy kind of things. All right, next item, and this is a little bit random. But you know, I buy all this Vera Bradley and I don't really have a need for a patch except the other day I did <laughs> and it wasn't Vera. 
But I bought this little Vera patch. BB, I thought, you know, there's something I could put that on. A hat, maybe, like, yeah. I figured it was on sale, why not? Okay, the next item I got, I got the 12 month or undated 12 month planner. And I actually got two of them, which is silly because I already have one, so that would have been two, but now I have three. But it's red, white, and blue, classic. Will never go out of style to me. So let's take a look at what those are. It is 12 months and it's any date you want. So you start it and end it as you please. It has the elastic to keep it closed. It has stars on the inside. You've got your bookmark. You've got this little folder page. So you can just put loose items in there. And then you've got some stickers. And then you've got some little miscellaneous things and you get right into the calendars. These undated planners usually have like three different patterns that they use here. And so between each of the calendars, they would have one, they would have the second one, they would have the third one, and then they would repeat. This one, they're all exactly the same, which is okay, but kind of boring. I love the red, white, and blue paisley. It is fine. I'm happy with it. it I think it would have been better if they at least did like alternating with the stars, maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason they didn't do that, but anyway, there you go. Undated planner. These I disassemble and put in my Sycamore agenda cover thing. All right, so two more items. One of them is new to me and one of them I already have but really haven't used. Not really. So if we talk about backpacks. These are backpack items, but they're kind of a, they're on the extra large scale for sure. So let's compare them to the Journey. The Journey backpack Retails for $175. It's 12 and a half inches wide, 17.75 inches tall, and 8.25 inches deep. Okay, so I have the dimensions written down just so I can share them with you as we go through this. Um, but these are big bags. <laughs> this one came stuffed in plastic and it's huge. I really didn't realize that it was so big. And I did look at the dimensions, but I really didn't digest them apparently. So this item is the Lighten Up Large Rolling Backpack. It retails for $158. It is half an inch narrower than the Journey in this direction. It's one quarter inch taller and it's one inch deeper. So very comparable in total capacity. Definitely like even Steven. So let's look at this bag. Let's look at the outside first. You have one zipper across there. It's a flat pocket, so it's not gusseted really much. There's, there's a little give there, but a little, not much. Then you have this vertical zipper. It is one of those awful metal zippers. So when you stick your hand in there, you're going to get scratched by that zipper. But it's a good size pocket. There you go. I usually don't use those pockets much because I hate that zipper. All right. Outside you have slip pockets on both sides. The one on this side has the expander with the, the like the mesh there. So you can put a lot of things in there. I'm just sitting here drinking water out of my big bubble mug and it fits in there. It doesn't look like it goes all the way down, but it actually is, is okay. And you can tighten it up in there and secure it better. So you could, that's not going anywhere. So there's that, but on the other side, it's just a slip. It doesn't have the expander, but it's good. And then on the back, you have your backpack straps. It does not have the crossbody or the cross chest strap. It does not have, like the Journey has those straps across that you can latch other things onto. It doesn't have that. And it's fine that it doesn't. It does not have a trolley sleeve, which I would have liked to have seen because if this was my second carry-on, and I was using like this and my 22 inch spinner, I would want to not have to roll both. I'd want to put this up on top and a trolley sleeve here would be great. So that would be the one thing I really would change on this for sure. But when you're not using the straps, you can tuck them inside. Put them deep down. Oh, I guess it does have a little give there. And I'll put it just like that. Tuck in the other one, get in there strap. And you want it behind the T-bar because you're going to use that, this for Velcro. And now you have this button on top, right there in the middle. 
So you use the button and then you extend your handle and you got your wheels to roll the backpack. Really cool. I definitely, I think that's gonna be really beneficial at times. All right, let's look at the pockets. This pocket zips down to the top of the slips on the side and it opens up pretty decently. This bag stands really well on its own, by the way. I mean, it's like made to, it does have feet on the front as well. So that's really nice. Um, but inside it's one big pocket. The back here is, you can feel the frame right behind there. And this back part, it does have very little padding. There's sort of like a, a firm piece of like a foam, but it's very thin. So it's enough to not totally fill that frame on your back, but you're not gonna wanna like go hiking with this or something weird like that. Um, in here, it does have this padded section, padded here and padded on the front. So that would be probably your tech space right in the middle there. The front compartment is about equidistant. So the back one's about half the width and the front one's about half the width, maybe a little more. And this one you have big space, it zips all the way down, but it's gusseted. So it will kind of sit like that. You got two slips, four pen slips and a big zipper. The zipper comes down to about here as far as the pocket, but then inside you have a lot of space. I mean, look at the width of that bottom there. So very nice. Holds a lot of stuff. And when it came to me, I mean, it was, I mean, it was stuffed all the way out. It was huge, very big bag. Now, this one, there's not really a, a foldable storage option here. So I'm going to shove all the paper back in it for storage. Why not? And I'm going to put it in the box it came in. And I'll probably put it in the garage like that just to keep it safe, like keep it in plastic, keep it in cardboard because this is not something I will use all the time. It would be something I'd pull out for a trip where I need a rolling backpack. Um, but it's a great bag and I love the colors in, um, by the way, Dream Diamonds. So. so that's that. Fun new things to try and it was a good price and I'll always, um, for the online outlet, put the prices down below. All right, so this next item, this is the Lighten Up Convertible Travel Bag. This is in Bramble Vines. I do have one of these items in Petite Paisley, but I haven't, haven't used it yet. I, I did pack it up once to see what I would hold, and then I didn't go anywhere. I ended up not. So this will be a first, um, not a first try, I guess, just my second. I bought it without really knowing, but I know I like it. So Okay, this dimensions, compared back to the journey, it is two inches narrower in this direction and you can kind of see that it's narrower this way it is an inch and a quarter taller this direction and it is an inch and three quarters deeper in this direction so that's, that's this is bigger capacity wise they're all again still very similar but this one probably holds the most out of all of them just about based on that two inches in that direction. Anyway, this one, this is kind of a cool piece because you can carry it like this with its handle. You can carry it as a backpack. It does have the cross chest strap. It has those little extra things you can clip onto just like the Journey does. But this backing is not padded and ventilated like the Journey is, so there's that. This also does not have a trolley sleeve. I personally think it should. I really think it should because if this was my second carry-on, I'm not gonna wanna be carrying that heavy thing all the way around the, the airport all the time, no matter which way I'm carrying it. But I, So I do think this definitely should have a trolley sleeve and not a narrow one like the Journey. Like you need it to be all the way across and make it really easy on and off for the suitcase. Just my opinion. You, when you're not using these straps, you tuck them inside. Let's go ahead and tuck them in. Just like the Journey, it has that big section there and the little corners are open. So you could use that as a pocket, but really it's just meant for your straps to tuck in. And they tuck in really nicely, completely out of the way. Would also be a good idea to have four feet on here, not to overcomplicate the bag, but this bag is mostly going to be sitting like this. So you'd wanna protect it a little bit. I mean, it's lightened up, so it's wipeable and it's water resistant, but still, wouldn't it be great to have just little feet to I think that's smart. But 
using it as a bag bag, you have a few options. First of all, it has handles, not on these ends, but on the sides. So you can carry it like a duffel. And they, they tuck into these side pockets right here. They're magnetic closure and they're pretty roomy. So you pull out your handle on each side or you could use those pockets for other things. You know, your phone fits easily in there. You know, it's secure, but not secure, secure. It depends on how you have a bag stack. But there you go, you can carry it like a duffel. You can also open it up. So this is kind of like a lay flat configuration. So pack kind of like a suitcase. You open the top and you have this huge area here. Look how deep that is. There you go. That's, that's a lot of space. So nice and big. And on the top you have a little mesh zipper area that's this whole side here. So when you close this up, and let's just zip that back up. That's your main compartment. It is double zipper, so here you can see move those zippers around to the side. There are two. Which means you could, you know, get a little travel lock and lock those two together as well if you wanted. Then you have a second compartment right here on top. It opens the same idea except it opens perpendicular. So the bag opens this way, this pocket opens this way. But you got another two plus inches of storage in that section. See that? So nice big, almost like a second small suitcase on top. So when you get that thing stuffed, this is where that depth comes in, that 9.25 inches is pretty deep. That's a lot of stuff. It also allows you the opportunity to keep your stuff separate, like clean and dirty clothes or shoes away from everything else, that kind of thing. Let me just tuck these straps back in real quick, clean up the look of this bag. And then, there are two more big pocket options here. One is right here on the front, you do have another zipper. It's just a straight across, sort of if you were using it like a backpack, that would be your vertical zipper space. But it goes all the way down to the bottom of that section. So it's a big pocket. A lot of utility there. And then this section right here basically could be a big slip and then this has a slip on it as well. It's a magnetic pocket. So you basically have separation there if you wanted. So, a couple of things. When you're not carrying it like a backpack and you don't want to carry it like a duffel, you can hook your strap on and use it as a shoulder or crossbody strap as well, which is great, great option. So there you go. You can carry that bag like that. This is gonna be potentially a heavy bag though if you fill it up and this strap is adjustable but it is not padded. So that is going to cut into your shoulder potentially a lot. And if we're in a crossbody, that's gonna rub in your neck. So maybe get one of those um, suitcase things like the neoprene ones that you can just wrap around that just to give yourself that pad if you're gonna be carrying it like long trip through the airport. That would be what I would do. I don't you plan to use it that way. This is more of like a road trip bag for me because I don't want to haul this through the airport. We'll see. Um, all right, but the third thing, this front part that I was talking about, you also have the zipper on top. So you have the zipper and two slips behind or you just zip this all the way off and ta-da, you now have a separate crossbody bag. You're gonna get your straps from here Hook them on your bag. These are not super slick to get on and off. And they are plastic fittings, which is not my favorite. I don't mind it for the purse, but for the bag, that's not gonna last. All right, so now you have a built-in crossbody bag. It's lightened up, it's the same pattern, matches your travel bag perfectly. You have that slip pocket on the back that we just saw before. And then you have just one zipper on the top and inside on the back away away from the slip you have a zipper pocket inside so it's a very simple not very thick but definitely usable little crossbody bag for you 
And there you go. And interestingly though, the Vera Bradley is on the inside, so when you have it zipped on here, it doesn't say Vera Bradley. Oh yeah, it does, right there on the side. But that's it. So I'm gonna put this strap inside the pocket here. I guess we don't need to have that on there for storage. And then we will fold it because we're doing a lot of folding and sharing how we do that for storing. All right, so this just zips right back on really nicely and there you go. So how do I fold this? This is one of those bags that I go with what it came to me as because it's a very good fold. So it almost, it just went right back into position once I zipped everything back up. But what I've done is you take the ends and you push them in so that they're folded in on themselves like that, on both ends. You do the same thing on the sides. You just kind of straighten that out. It's lightened up, so you don't have to worry so much about creases, it just is. And it goes like that, and you do the same on the other side. And just kind of give it a little gentle press. There you go. It's all compact, it's all together. There's not a lot of stuff sticking out and it stores flat very nicely on the shelf with all the other backpacks. So that's what I do. That is great. And that is all for this one. So I hope you're doing well and stay home, washy washy, and definitely stay healthy and love the ones you're with. Take care. Bye for now.